Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're having a look at this Ham International Multimode 2 that I bought a while ago which was faulty well the seller said it was faulty but I could never find a fault on it and I'd used it and used it and couldn't find a fault anyway today it went faulty so let's have a look at what it was doing so it started to crackle on the receive so I just got some voltage measurements and as you can see the VCO is all over the place and this is actually receiving something from another radio and as you can see the VCO voltage is all over the place so looks like finally this radio has shown its fault or it's shown a fault anyway the original fault was it was supposed to be transmitted on one frequency but so anyway let's try a bit of freezer on C11 doesn't seem to have made much of a difference so as you can hear it's still not very happy at all so I've got the frequency counter monitoring the reference oscillator and it seems to be steady We'll just try with the freezer on the VCO block. Doesn't seem to have made any. Maybe it's made it a little bit better. But it's not cleared the fault, so. Try the voltage regulator. Nope, still all over the place. Okay, maybe it's not a heat related issue. So we're just monitoring the VCO feed point. It seems to be steady. So first thing I want to try, I want to drop in another VCO block. Now I bought this radio to be modified so eventually the green VCO will be coming out but for this testing purposes we're just going to drop in a known working green VCO. And we're back on the test point again. Now fault has reappeared. So it doesn't look like it's the VCO that's the problem. So we're injecting channel 1 high band and you can see the VCO voltage is all over the place then it'll just clear and go right again really bizarre and then it just goes again So I'm thinking maybe it's dirty VR1, VR2. I'm still not convinced about C11. Because I know that's supposedly a troublesome capacitor. And it's not been changed in this radio. So maybe it is C11. Maybe that's the problem. I 
but you see this is a receiving a dead carrier from my signal generator you see the VCO voltage is really not stable at all so C11 560 picofarad tantalum capacitor now is that a crack on the top of the capacitor hard to focus in is it a crack or is that how it looks sure looks like a crack so anyway we've replaced C11 and our VCO voltage is rock steady again I've adjusted VR1 and VR2 on the board so it gives 3.6 volts as per the service manual was this our problem? As you can hear, a beautiful carrier, no noise at all. So I decided to put the capacitor on my capacitor tester. It's not an ESR tester, it's just a capacitance tester. And it seems to be all over the place. And that's with a replacement capacitor, a new one. And as you can see, pretty much bang on and absolutely rock steady. So this new capacitor is rock steady. The old one's all over the place. There we go. We connected the old one back up. And it's, it's just not consistent. So I'm trying to resistance reading. We're not getting any resistance across the capacitor. And now the capacitor's settled down again. So we'll try and freeze it, we'll try and heat it, see if we can make it go silly. Maybe this is the issue. It'll work fine for ages and then something something will happen and it'll go into one of its its little episodes where it decides to go all over the place and then maybe it'll just write itself so we've heated it now we'll freeze it and the capacitance value is changing as you would expect it's not going mad like it was before. Just for a test, let's try and freeze and heat up a new one. Sure enough, the value changes. But you would expect the value to change under extremities of coldness and heat so okay so I can't get the original capacitor to go back to doing what it was doing under fault condition It's definitely out of tolerance because it should be 560 and now it's reading 620. So something's changed. So 
So it's been running for a while now and absolutely rock solid on the VCO voltage. So only time will tell with this radio. Maybe I disturbed something and it's gone right. Maybe this was the fault. This is going to be one of those faults that's not going to rear its head again for ages. But we are going to do some modifications to this radio sometime. So maybe we'll uncover a fault again or maybe we'll never see the fault again. I'm quietly confident that this was the problem because it has been mentioned to me about this capacitor beforehand. So radio seems to be working well, a bit of European stations coming in. No sign of our fault anymore. Let's hope it's a fix. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, thumbs up, or that lot. Patreon if you really must. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.